All right, knock. Eternal news. Now follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. We have a massive following on those platforms. Okay, the Manta Ray. This is an animal-like uncrewed underwater vehicle dubbed the Manta Ray. Now it's been spotted maneuvering off the coast of California, and I literally found the location of the Manta Ray being tested on Google Earth, uh, Google Earth Pro to be exact. Now, why is this important? Well, because, like you guys know, like most top secret black budget projects i believe this project along with many others are in part p-r-a-t keyword part reversed engineered alien technology okay that's truly i I believe it guys i really do this is not just hyperbole i'm not just spitting nonsense i truly believe that now uh just like the tech technology reversed engineered uh from the 1947 roswell crash um, not long after the, the 1947 Roswell incident, we had fiber optics, microchips, night vision, stealth tech. Um, the list goes on and on and on. And remember, the public is always, what, maybe 10, 15, 20 years behind what's actually going on behind closed doors. You guys remember the, you know, the stealth tech and the, you know, the bombers, all that. Okay. Uh, now, here's what we know. Uh, the drone, it is a drone, is a modular, meaning it's, it can easily be taken apart and reassembled in the field. The manta ray, uh, manta ray prototype was shipped across the country in pieces for et see assessment earlier this year. Now, that's according to the DARPA website. Now, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency in 2020 created the Manta Ray program to develop undersea stealth capability. Um, And now, mark my words, guys. Okay, as history moves forward, it will be a well-known fact uh, that these underwater projects, okay, these USOs, were started a long, long time ago. Okay, and it certainly wasn't 2020 as the government is telling us. Okay, So back to what I was saying, the manta ray is capable of working extended hours, traveling uh, to an extreme distance with minimal human contact. Okay, it's like an uh, like an autonomous drone, basically, Uh, meaning the underwater craft can go just about anywhere on the globe and spy. Okay, keyword. Um just like the, uh, what is it, the uh, X-37B up there on just about anyone, almost anywhere undetected. Okay, sound familiar? Of course it does. Sounds a lot like UFOs, USOs. You know, look, guys, I honestly believe most UFO sightings going all the way back to the 30s and 40s and even up to the modern day can be explained by unknown hidden government programs. Not all, but most. Okay, the more I investigate, the more I learn, the more I educate myself, uh, just apply common sense and critical thinking, critical thinking, okay, uh, I'm learning that a lot of these programs, they're just government programs and it's reverse technology, okay? Uh, think about this. Just like the ancient civilizations thought fireballs in the sky was some type of god or, or how we thought the sun and the moon was a god in the sky to be worshipped and now here we are, history repeating itself, Okay. So back to my point, guys. Again, this is no uh, this is no secret. Okay, uh, secret agencies agencies like DARPA, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, NASA, Skunk Works have been around since the beginning of the UFO topic. And again, it does explain a lot of the cases, a lot of the the sightings. And as many of you know, well, a, a lot of these really uh, these three letter agencies have used the UFO phenomenon as an excuse to hide or to run cover for whatever it is they're they're really working on. Okay. Basically, if you see something unexplainable in the sky, well, according to the government military, it's a UFO. When in fact, most of the time, it really is our own craft. Okay. I also think this holds true for like the Phoenix Lights, you know, just another prime example. Um, Even the USS Nimitz incident. Okay. I don't think there was anything alien about that. I think the government got caught with its pants down, uh, you know, using reversed alien tech. And, um, you know, that's my honest opinion. I, I know a lot of people don't like that that standpoint, but that's truly how I feel. Okay, and we have so many truly unexplainable UFO cases that have, you know, yet to be debunked or explained. Okay, I mean, just to, to name a few, and I think we've probably covered here, on, here uh, on Nocturnal News, okay, the Aurora incident, okay, Hudson Valley, Shag Harbor, Westwall UFO, Anchorage, Alaska, Ch- uh, Chicago O'Hare uh, International Airport. I've made several videos about that. Uh, the Alderney UFO sighting. 
Ukraine, the Belgium UFO wave, uh, the Washington flap, Cash Landrum incident. By the way, I texted them and uh, still waiting for them to reply. I'd love to do an interview uh, with with, uh, the grandson, actually. Uh, Of course, uh, Rendlesham Forest incident. And again, the Phoenix, Phoenix Lights Roswell, USS Nimitz, the Westwall UFO incident, 1966, Melbourne, Australia, the Gulf Breeze, 687 to 88. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And I think a lot of this is military now. Like, take the Cash Landrum incident or the Rendlesham Forest, and now we know uh, it's it probably was military. You know, or, or again, reverse alien tech. Okay, you have the... Uh, I think it's Leveland, or I, I always forget how to pronounce this. The Leveland UFO case, okay, occurred on uh, November second, third, nineteen fifty-seven, on the highways around the small town of Leveland, Texas. Leveland, which is I'm reading this right now, which in nineteen fifty-seven had a population of about ten thousand, is located west of Lubbock, okay, near where I'm at, Houston, Texas, uh, on the flat prairie of the Texas South Plains. Okay, that was a a very famous UFO case. Again, I think there's probably something, you know, government like behind it okay now you guys know i do believe in ufos and life outside of our planet in fact i think it's insane to suggest that we're just you know the only living breathing knuckle dragging life forms <laughs> in the universe it's, it's it's a ridiculous thought okay uh so you know just like the caveman pointing at the sky and throwing rocks at a bright you know celestial object that that's kind of what we're doing now but we just do it with our, our iphones or androids or cameras or whatever okay and like past civilizations worshiping the sun or the stars here we are in 2024 basically doing the same thing but but here look guys i'm babbling as i've stated you know multiple times i believe most of the unexplainable craft ufos uaps whatever in our skies i think they're top secret space programs or these black budget programs so all right leave a comment below i just wanted to get on here real quick and let you know what i think about this new amanda ray you know case um and again kind of like roswell uss nimitz all these famous cases you know i think we are behind it and, and that's truly what I've, and tell me in, in the comments please participate tell me do you think all these things that i show on nocturnal news or secure team 10 or all these other channels do you think they're all alien right i mean what, what are the odds of that you know um i post maybe two or 300 videos, well, actually about 700 videos a year, there's no way they're all, uh, you know, aliens or or out of this world or or off-planet vehicles. I think most of them are our own, and I would love to hear your thoughts.